Howdy campers, welcome to your fourth Grunt.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can install plugins and also concatenate our files. Alright then, so in the last tutorial we went ahead and created this gruntfile.js and in it we said module.exports equals a function which takes the grunt object and I said that the grunt file uh, was kind of split up into three parts, the configuration where we configure our plugins and we say right here, we pass in options to plugins, references to files, etc. Then we can load our plugins, and this is how we do it, which we're going to do in a second. And we also registered these tasks, which are pretty pointless now. So I'm going to delete those. The only reason I made those was to show you the kind of um, way we set them up, if you like. So we'll create a better task in a minute. But in this tutorial, we're going to load our first plugin. So if we head over to the Grunt website, you're going to see... Uh, gruntjs.com forward slash plugins there is a list of all these plugins and right here it says there's 5,800 entries so that is a lot of plugins which will do a lot of different things for your project so you might want to sift through these and find any that you like um, you'll notice on some of them they've got a star and it says contrib in front of it and if you read up here it says that the ones with contrib in them are officially maintained okay so we're going to use a contrib one in this tutorial and the one i want to use is called concat because this is going to concatenate our files and you can see right there if we search for it it comes up so i'm just going to click on that and hopefully it's going to give us a little bit more information about it it's going to the npm website so it's telling us how to install this we say npm install grunt hyphen contrib hyphen concat and then we're saving it to the dev dependencies as well. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say npm install grunt hyphen contrib hyphen concat save and dev. So this is just going to take a second to download and add it to our package.json file. So once it's done, just go ahead and take a look at this package.json file to make sure that's updated, which it has. There is the plugin we've just installed. Okay. So now we've installed it, we can go ahead and use it in this grunt file. So we're loading the plugins right here. So let's get rid of these two comments. And we're going to specify the plugin name there so it knows what to get. And is, it is grunt-contrib-concat. Okay. So now we can set up the configuration for this task or for this plugin rather. So let's get rid of this comment. And what this plugin does is concatenate our files. So you can see in our project files, which are on my GitHub page, don't forget the links down below if you want to download these. You can see down here, we've got a load of JS files, well, three, and we've got a couple of CSS files right there as well. So instead of having those in three separate files and two separate files, we want to concatenate these together into one file called scripts and maybe one file called styles or something like that. Okay, so that's what this plugin is going to do, but we're going to have to configure that plugin first of all. So we need to say concat. This is going to be our first property, if you like, in this object, right? And it's this thing right here. So anything after grunt hyphen contrib hyphen. So this thing right here. So this is the property and it's going to take an object as a parameter. Now in here, we're going to pass through another couple of objects. We want to run two separate tasks, if you like. We want to do a concatenation on the JavaScript and a concatenation on the CSS. So we need two separate jobs to do that, if you like. So we're going to do a different object or property for each task. So the first one is going to be JS and this is going to be an object as well. So inside the JS object, we're going to specify the source of the files that we want to concatenate and the destination of the output file that is going to be concatenated. All right. So the source SRC and it's going to be these three things right here. So I'm going to pass these through in an array so I can say jQuery and what's that hyphen 1.12.4.js. So comma that. Uh, the second one is our slides .js. and by the way I'm doing this completely wrong it's in the JS folder first of all forward slash that and then finally it is the scripts.js so js forward slash scripts.js and we want to put 
these things around it as well. Okay, so right there, I've specified three files that we want to concatenate, but imagine we have 10. We don't want to write them all out. So an easy way to do this is by doing this in my case, because they're all in the same folder. I'm just gonna say js forward slash star.js. And this basically means now, look in the JS folder and then grab me any file, that means anything, doesn't matter what the name is, whose extension is .js. All right, so now we're grabbing all those files, cool. So that's the source. Uh, now the destination is where we want to output this concatenated file to. Now what I'm gonna do is stick this in a build folder, which is kind of commonplace uh, to have like a build folder or a distribution folder or something like that for your final files. Uh, so I'll put it in the build folder and then I'm gonna call this scripts.js. So currently this doesn't exist anywhere in our um, project files, but when we run this task in a minute, it will. So I tell you what, let's just leave it there for now. We'll add the CSS in in a minute. And what I'm gonna do is come down here and I'm gonna say grunt concat. And then when I run this, hopefully it's gonna find this plugin and it's gonna look in the options, the JS option, it's gonna find the source files and it's gonna output in the destination. And it says done here right now. So if we now look, we can see the build folder up on the left and inside is the scripts.js file, which has concatenated all of those script files into one file. Pretty cool, yeah? All right, so let us now do the same thing for the CSS. So let's just do a comma and the next property, CSS. And this again is gonna be an object and I'm just gonna copy this dude right here. I'm gonna paste it in. And let's change this from JS to CSS star dot CSS and then the output is going to be styles dot CSS cool so let's save it I'm going to delete this build folder so we can start all over again and this time when I run grunt con, um, con cat can't remember the name of it grunt can cat it's going to run this and this time it should do both tasks the JavaScript option and the CSS option. And if we look in the build folder now it created, we can see scripts.js and styles.js, which has concatenated these two styles right here. Pretty cool, right? So now it's done both of those at once. So what if we only wanna do one at a time? Well, we can register tasks to do that. So let's go ahead and do it. So we'll say grunt.register task. And this is gonna be concat-js. I've made this name up right here. It doesn't have to be concat-js, it can be whatever you want. It just seems logical to me because I just want to concatenate the JS and not the CSS. So then we need to specify which job we want to run in this configuration right here. So it's the concat and then it's the JS job inside it. So we'll say right there, concat colon JS, okay? So now let me go ahead and delete this build folder again so we can start again. And this time what I'm gonna do is come down here and I'm gonna say grunt, and this time concat hyphen JS. And then that is gonna look for this task right here. And it's just gonna concatenate the JavaScript because we just specified this option right here. So now it's done. Let's have a look in the build folder and now we just get the scripts. Pretty awesome, okay, let's save that. Don't know why it's asking me to do it, but anyway. Um, so down here, what I wanna do is register another task, which is just gonna be for the CSS. So I'll copy that, call this concat hyphen CSS. This time the CSS option. I'm gonna save it. Again, I'm gonna delete this build folder because I only want to, um, sorry, I want to uh, start again and show you that it's uh, gonna create that folder from scratch. This time I'm gonna say, grunt concat hyphen CSS, which is this last task we created. Now it's done. So now we have the styles in there. And if I then run grunt concat hyphen JS, oops, not even typing there, am I? So grunt concat hyphen JS, this time it's gonna run this task and we should see the scripts.js file created as well. Cool. So. We register in tasks here to run just single tasks, okay? 
um, and we could create a task to run both of them, but there's no point because we can just say uh, grunt concat to run both of them. All right, so that is how we load in a plugin. And uh, that is how we register tasks to run certain parts of the plugin. And by the way, these options right here of the different plugins are different for each plugin. It's dependent on the plugin. And it's always a good idea just to have a look on the plugin uh, documentation to see how you use it. There's always an example right here at the bottom. It's showing you uh, how to use it. So that's always a good idea because these do differ from plugin to plugin, how you set it out in the config. All right. So any questions so far, leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial where we're going to install another plugin.